G'day YouTubers, Daniel here from Down Under. Hope you're all well. Um, just going to quickly adjust my microphone. Excuse the noise. Um, P3D version 3.2. Going to uh, just quickly give you a quick video on how to use the uh, FSX scenery configurator tool. Um, which, when you download, looks like this little icon just here. Um, you can download it pretty much anywhere for free. Um, it's just a external cons uh, con configurator for your scenery for P3D. Both P3D and FSX works for both. P3D, uh, uh, when you're installing, it does help when you're installing uh, FSX related scenery in, in airports. So um, I'll quickly go through that with you. Um, I'll open it up and just quickly show you how I install scenery in my P3D 3.2 simulator. Um, once you've actually uh, downloaded the scenery, for example, and um, and got your uh, uh, you installed your particular airport, um, it will obviously, if you use the migration tool, um, which a lot of people know about, and the migration tool is uh, this little thing on the left hand side of my screen um, this migration tool uh, for a 10 or 12 dollars I think Australian um, it, it does save you a lot of time it, it is a must to have this tool for the majority of the SX um, installations into P3D so far the, all the um, scenery you can see on my screen um, is basically a majority of these are actually uh, FSX scenery that I've got in P3D which are, are compatible. Um, majority of them, the installers need help with this tool here on the left. Um, without that tool, the migration tool, it, it is an absolute nightmare pretty much. So for example all my UK2000 um, airports have all done by using this tool. Um, and I find there's a lot of things on the internet and forums and stuff about uh, P3D having a, um, a separate, I suppose, um, separate installation uh, file. This is my um, uh, Prepare3D v2 uh, directory where I've installed my sim and in here I have an add-on scenery um, which is basically all my add-on scenery, airports, etc. Um, I haven't had a problem with it. Um, some people say installing this file outside the directory of P3D but at the end of the day um, I haven't had an issue with it. Um, so um, after you install your uh, scenery um, it it will add itself and you will see it for example at the very top of your scenery configurator when you first initialize your scenery configurator you get a blank screen you won't have anything in here um, you'll have to go to actions and it'll click on generate from directory and you'll come with this little box here and this is the directory that you have to feed it to generate all your Serenity files. The first time you do it, you click browse and you'd go into uh, where your FSX or, or P3D directory would be. Um, in my case, it's a SIM drive, Lockheed Martin, Prepare 3D, and add on scenery. Sceneries that are not in within this add on scenery subfolder, like for example Aerosoft, or have got their own subfolder for all their sceneries, um, you'd have to do this separately. Um, otherwise, you can actually just put it under the main Prepare 3D. I found that that actually puts a lot of unnecessary information in here, it just confuses the configurator altogether. So, I would separately uh, load these um, and generate from each folder separately and the scenery will pick up the new scenery automatically and put it in the uh, in the, in the uh, scenery configurator. From there, once you do that, you click on that, um, press OK, and you can see it's added the new directory up here. You click OK and it'll, it'll uh, pop up with all the new scenarios. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because uh, I've already done it, so I'll just cancel that out. Once they're in here, it's pretty straightforward, guys. Um, um, I, you basically just uh, arrange your scenery um, uh, the way I've, I suppose, arranged it. 
I'm not sure if I've done it correctly to be honest, but it, it works for me in a reasonable order. Um, I'm still sort of getting the, uh, the 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 gist of how to have my scenery configured properly. Um, but this video really is just to sh quickly show you guys how to actually get your scenery in here before you load P3D up. Um, I find if you when you generate when you install a new airport, again you go generate directory, go to that specific airport by going to add on scenery and in here the installer would have put it under your add on scenery if it was an aerosoft airport it would have put it under the aerosoft subfolder where all my aerosoft airports here you wanted to add a particular airport you click on that one airport and press ok and you can see it's brought up the german airports uh, number one series file and you click OK, it'll just add that one airport into into your configurator and obviously it'll be at the top as the latest added, added airport and you can then shift that anywhere you like in by holding your mouse button down and just dragging your mouse up and down and repositioning wherever you prefer to have that airport in, uh, uh, in and prioritise that. Um, that's about it guys, I hope that was an easy quick video for you guys. Um, these configure this senior configurator is, is pretty good. It's it's a lot easy to add and click and change airports for you know when you're uh, flying in particular areas you can untick or tick um, to uh, obviously unload or load the particular areas that you're flying in before you actually start P3D. So it is good. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, leave a comment. Um, any questions? Uh, I'll try and answer them. Cheers.